This isn't just a story about a new aircraft. It's about a quiet revolution preparing for takeoff, one that could reshape how we think about cities, travel, and even the sky above us. In the deserts of Abu Dhabi and the hangars of California, something extraordinary is happening. A sleek electric aircraft called Midnight is inching closer to a future that once lived only in sci-fi. But why is Archer Aviation, a US-based company, choosing the UAE as its launch pad? And how close are we to flying in these futuristic air taxis? Let's dive in. Midnight's first flight, a new era, begins. When Archer Aviation's Midnight aircraft lifted off for the first time in Abu Dhabi on July 2, 2025, it wasn't just a test. It was a statement. A signal that the electric vertical takeoff and landing, EVTOL, era is no longer a distant dream. The flight came just weeks after the company showcased their plans at the Paris Air Show, marking a significant milestone in their journey toward commercial service. Adam Goldstein, Archer's CEO and founder, has spent years focused on this mission. For him, Midnight isn't just an aircraft. It's the future of urban mobility. What makes this first flight even more compelling is the backdrop, the United Arab Emirates. A place known for bold innovation, the UAE has become an unexpected yet strategic launchpad for Archer's global ambitions. Why Abu Dhabi? According to Goldstein, the UAE has shown an unmatched willingness to fast-track aviation advancement. They aren't just spectators, they're partners. Sovereign investment groups like Mubadala and IHC are financially backing Archer, while local aviation players are helping set up the infrastructure needed for success. The goal isn't to flood the skies with aircraft overnight. Instead, it's a focused, carefully staged rollout. A handful of piloted flights, demonstrations, community engagement. The test flight in Abu Dhabi was just the beginning. But it showed the world that midnight is real, flying, and poised to redefine what air travel looks like. Not in a decade, but possibly within a year. The countdown has already started. Why the UAE? Choosing the United Arab Emirates as the launch pad for Midnight wasn't a marketing stunt, it was a calculated move. While Archer Aviation is headquartered in California, the regulatory pace and infrastructure development in the U.S. still trail behind the urgency needed to bring EVTOL aircraft into real-world use. The UAE, on the other hand, has embraced the future head-on. According to Adam Goldstein, the Emirati government has taken a proactive role in supporting this emerging industry. They want to be early adopters, not observers. Their aviation authorities are already working closely with Archer to enable flight testing, pilot training, and eventually commercial operations. And it's not just talk. The country has backed this ambition with funding and partnerships. From electrified vertiports, to training programs for local pilots, an entire ecosystem is being quietly built in Abu Dhabi. Archer isn't just flying in aircraft. They're laying the groundwork for a sustainable air taxi network. Their local partner, Abu Dhabi Aviation, is already set to become one of the first customers. In a world where bureaucracy often slows innovation, the UA is clearing the runway and Archer is ready to take off. Testing, safety, and the long road to certification. Behind every sleek takeoff video lies years of engineering grind and regulatory hurdles. Archer's journey with Midnight has been no exception. While the aircraft's first flight in Abu Dhabi made headlines, the real work has been happening quietly, inside test facilities, on runways, and across countless simulations. By mid-2025, Archer had already begun piloted flight campaigns. That means trained test pilots are now flying midnight, pushing its limits in real-world conditions. These aren't just performance trials, they're safety demonstrations. 
Before anyone steps into an air taxi as a paying passenger, every flight system needs to meet the most rigorous standards. In the U.S., Archer is working closely with the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, to gain certification. That process isn't fast. It involves building trust, proving reliability, and showing that the aircraft can respond safely even in failure scenarios. At the same time, the company has introduced conventional takeoff and landing capabilities into its aircraft design, a backup system that offers added layers of safety and efficiency. This is about more than flying. It's about convincing regulators, governments, and the public that these aircraft belong in the sky. And Archer is determined to earn that trust. Building the ecosystem, not just an aircraft. Archer's vision isn't limited to building a futuristic aircraft. What they're constructing is an entire ecosystem, one that can support urban air mobility from the ground up. Because flying midnight is only part of the equation. Making it useful, safe, and scalable requires a network that touches everything from infrastructure to human resources. In Abu Dhabi, that system is already taking shape. Vertiports are being electrified and modernized. Partnerships are in place for pilot training, aircraft maintenance, and flight operations. Local aviation giant Abu Dhabi Aviation isn't just a customer. It's part of the operational backbone. They're preparing to integrate Midnight into their fleet and help demonstrate how EVE tolls can function in a real-world commercial setting. This approach signals Archer's deeper strategy. Prove the model in a controlled, cooperative environment before scaling globally. By creating a full-service blueprint in the UAE where government, investors, and operators are aligned, they can showcase what a functioning EVE tall ecosystem looks like. It's not just about lifting off. It's about where you land, how you charge, who flies the aircraft, and who maintains it. Archer is solving the entire puzzle, one piece at a time. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Scaling up, manufacturing, and the future fleet. While the UAE serves as Archer's launch pad, the engine behind its global vision is being built in Georgia, USA. In 2024, Archer opened its high-capacity manufacturing facility there, a plant capable of producing up to 650 midnight aircraft annually in its initial phase. That's not just a workshop. It's a signal that Archer is serious about scale. Right now, several aircraft are already coming off the line. The goal is to build a robust fleet, not only for testing, but for future commercial deployment. These aren't just prototypes. They're production-ready models, designed to meet strict certification requirements and support regular operations. The company's strategy is clear. Develop and refine in one region, then replicate that success globally. Once proven in Abu Dhabi, Similar networks could emerge in major cities worldwide, New York, Los Angeles, London, or Singapore. The groundwork laid now could define how entire urban populations move in the next decade. But that future depends on readiness. And Archer is working from every angle, engineering, regulation, infrastructure, and now mass production to ensure they're not just first to market, but first to scale sustainably. The aircraft are coming. The skies are next. The bigger picture. Why this matters. It's easy to look at midnight and see a high-tech toy for the wealthy or a futuristic gimmick. But the implications of what Archer is building go far deeper. This isn't just about speed or convenience. It's about reimagining mobility in cities that are choked with traffic and running out of space. EVTOLs like Midnight could drastically reduce commute times, lower urban emissions, and change how people access work, healthcare, and opportunity. They're electric, quieter than helicopters, and can take off and land in tight spaces. That opens up an entirely new layer of transportation 
above the roads, but below the clouds. For Adam Goldstein, this isn't a vanity project. It's a response to a global problem. Cities are growing faster than their infrastructure can handle, and traditional aviation has barely evolved in decades. Bringing safe, clean, and accessible air travel to the public is an urgent need, not just a technological challenge. The world isn't waiting. Governments are watching, investors are betting, and communities are hoping. If Archer succeeds, Midnight won't just be another aircraft. It'll be a symbol of how cities can rise above their limits, literally. Day one of a new industry. Despite all the progress, flights, factories, and partnerships, Adam Goldstein is clear about one thing. This is just the beginning. Archer isn't simply delivering an aircraft. It's helping shape an industry that didn't exist a decade ago. And building an industry from scratch is a challenge no less complex than building the aircraft itself. It's not just about engineering breakthroughs. It's about creating trust. Convincing regulators to certify something they've never seen before. Training pilots for aircraft that don't behave like traditional planes or helicopters. Designing infrastructure for vehicles that don't fit into existing transportation models. Every part of this journey is uncharted. But that's also where the excitement lies. Goldstein calls this day one, not as a humble soundbite, but as a reality check. What we're witnessing now is the very first chapter in a story that will unfold over decades. If Midnight succeeds, it will unlock new standards, policies, and expectations across the world. Archer's role? Be the spark. Lead the first wave. Prove that it can be done. Not just once, but consistently, safely, and sustainably. Because once people believe it works, everything else follows. And the sky will no longer be the limit. The future of flight is no longer grounded in theory. It's being built, tested, and flown right now. From the scorching runways of Abu Dhabi to the manufacturing floors in Georgia, Archer Aviation is quietly piecing together a transportation revolution. But this isn't just about one aircraft or one company. It's about a global shift in how we think about distance, time, and mobility. If midnight lives up to its promise, our cities and our skies may never be the same. The journey ahead is uncertain, but it has already begun, and the world is watching what comes next.